featuring tonight's main event, Dave Batista versus Vince Lucero. An absolute physical specimen, Scott, a former bodybuilder, and of course a veteran of more than 300 bouts in the World Wrestling Entertainment venue, including here in Providence three years ago. The brass body indeed, he clocked in at 265 yesterday on the dot, all muscle. You see Action. him getting some last minute instructions outside the cage. There was a joke yesterday when he weighed in that everybody was looking for the body fat. So it's he actually, somebody owes Dave Baptista body fat because he had none yesterday. <laughs> now conditioning has never been a problem for Baptista. And it certainly was leading up to this fight. He has worked incredibly hard. He's told various media outlets throughout this process that this has been the hardest thing he's ever done to prepare for this bout. That's Training, a very, course. I have to be honest, anytime somebody ever tries to do what we do in our sport, coming from anything else, you hear the same Absolutely. thing. This sport, by, by none, is the hardest to train for, the most physically demanding. And, and, and for many, many different reasons, not only the physical contact with what you ask your body to do, but the, the continuous pounding, not just with your heels, like a boxer, continuous bag work and sparring sessions, but now you're grappling and getting picked up and dropped. And it's, 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 when he says that this is the hardest thing he's ever done, I believe the man. And he's gotten some great training along the way. He's 43 years of age. He opened up his own Gracie Jiu Jitsu gym in Tampa, training with Josh Rafferty, who was a contestant on the debut season of The Ultimate Fighter. So he's got the right people in his ear. Whether he applies it inside the cage tonight, against a veteran of 44 MMA fights remains to be seen. That's going to be the big question as Dave Bautista makes this highly anticipated mixed martial arts debut. And here we go. Here is the tail of the tape. Dave Bautista, 265 and a half, coming in out of Tampa, Florida. Vince Lucero, 22-22, 300 pounds on the dot from Casa Grande, Arizona. Let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy Birchfield's Classic Entertainment and Sports in association with June Entertainment and 401 Entertainment presents your real pain main event. Tonight's main event is sanctioned by the Rhode Island Department of Business Regulation, Division of Commercial Licensing, Racing and Athletics, Paul McGreevy, Director, Maria D'Alessandro, Deputy Director, and Christina Tobias, Chief Licensing Examiner, racing and athletics and now it's time for another classic main event tonight's main event is presented by the universal pictures film the man with the iron fist our main event is scheduled for three five minute rounds in the heavyweight division once the bell sounds, the third man in the cage in charge of all the action is your referee, Dan Mergliata. And now, introducing the principals. First, to my left, fighting out of the blue corner, this heavyweight weighed in at 300 pounds, representing Jab Fitness. This MMA veteran claims 22 professional wins from Casa Grande, Arizona, here is Vince Elmaro Lucero. His opponent across the cage to my right, fighting out of the red corner. He tipped the scales at a fit and ready 265 and one half pounds. Representing Gracie Fighter Tampa, this former six-time WWE World Champion trains in Tampa, Florida, Tonight, making his professional MMA debut, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Dave Brassbody Batista. Three five minute rounds in our main event, heavyweights. All right, Scott, here it is. It's finally here, the long-awaited mixed martial arts debut of Dave, the Animal Bautista. No easy task taking on the veteran Vince Lucero. 44 fights under his belt. And what a specimen Dave Bautista is. Former bodybuilder, actor. And now he looks to try his hat in MMA, and he's been training. Here we go. There it is, round number one. These boys are squaring off. Bautista's got his hands up high. 
Short right hand. Cicero comes in right away with the right hand. Another, another right. right. Another right hand. He lands hand. two big rights. He's landed two or three big Batista rights. Batista with the knee. A third, a fourth. Well, Cicero just letting Ball it all hang out. the top. He's doing exactly what you would expect somebody who took a fight on short notice to do. Exactly. Go in there very quick it all out. Yep. Whatever you have, you throw. Now, Baptista's doing a really good job. Overhook. Stop talking and fight was what was instructed by the uh, by the official Dan Megliata. Interesting. Batista certainly needs to show up the defense a bit. He caught two big right hands early on. And here he is with his back pressed against the cage. Lucera trying to use his force. If you can tell, though, Dan Megliata can't see it. But Vince is actually holding the cage yeah. underneath. Now he's letting go. Now he's got the right hand free, and they're throwing on the exchange. Here we go. Here Back we go. The center of the canvas. Straight left hand, another left big hand. Big right, right left hand. by Lucera. He's landing. Right leg kick. Another big left hand from Lucera. Batista, Batista to needs to throw his hands. He's throwing great kicks. There's a right hand by Baptista. Rear cheek by Baptista, the right hand counter by Vince. Left hook, right cross, another left hook, right cross. Baptista looks to clinch up. Vince is using a cross face to try to keep Baptista from pulling him in too tight. You know, Baptista is certainly leaving himself open for these shots, Scott. He's walking right into these left and rights from Lucero. And he's walking through them, so I guess there's a little bit of both. You gotta um, wonder if Lucero can really hurt him if he catches him on the chin. Let's, I think that anybody can be hurt at this weight with these short gloves, but let's, let's also realize that what the man did in the WWE, he's used to getting some shots. He's sure. used to a little bit of live stuff. So, um, and, and of course, in training, I'm sure he's used to a hell of a lot of live stuff. Batista now working that knee to the midsection. He got one off big. Nice elbow by Batista that just, just missed. Now Vince reverses on the clinch and pins Batista to the cage. And Lucero just flipped it around nicely and pressing and right Vince back. And Vince is waving to the crowd <laughs> as this is happening. He's loving it. I mean, this is the show of a lifetime, and Lucero is soaking it up. And they got to break this one up wisely. Baptista needs to get his hands up, and Dave now switches to a lefty stance. Interestingly enough, he shoots right in for the takedown, and he gets it. Big takedown by Dave Batista. We were waiting to see if he had that in his arsenal. Well, we expected it as well. Now he's stepping over, bringing his right knee to try to pin down Vince's arm, and this is where Vince could be in a lot of trouble. And we'll see if all that training at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu has paid off in Tampa. Well, Dave's looking to isolate both arms and then rain down punches, I guarantee you. Now his balance is slightly off. Dropping that hammer fist down on Lucero. 40 professional fights at heavyweight. He's been here before. And now Dave Baptista gas mount. He looks like he's going to get the back. This is a very big guy. He might not try the back mount. It's tough it to wrap your too arms much on the girth. It. Yeah. Dave might think about staying in side control here. There's a lot of girth he's given up. Big right good hands. Good right hands, hands good punches. Vince is working to defend. Baptista is trying to flatten him out. And he does have good. He's doing a really good job. He has him on mount, but from the side. So maybe where the girth doesn't come into as much. You can see where the knee's on on the ground. Landing some left hands now. Dan Megliata really right up in this to see what's going he's on. He's got that left arm under. He has it under, under his neck. It looks like he's going to try to go for a rear naked. But no, he lost that. Now he's throwing punches. To he, a couple of those to the back of the head. has to answer. These punches are coming in from both sides. He's going to stop the fight if this keeps up. This might not last Maybe much longer. Maybe two or three more punches. That'll That's be it. it. And Dave, the animal Batista, wins his mixed martial arts debut. The official stops the bout with just under a minute to go. And Batista throwing some taunts at Lucero. Why was he upset? I'm not quite did I sure. Miss some, well, did I miss something? We might find out afterward, but Dave Batista does win in his mixed martial arts debut. And Lucero kind of shot back at him. He has some choice words for him in the end. I'm not sure what went on in the exchange on the canvas. Maybe not happy with some of the showmanship by Lucero when he had his back against the cage. I'm not quite sure. I, I don't know if it was that if he even saw it. I, I think we're missing something here, and I'm not quite sure what it is. Wow, Lucero. Wow, they're both going back and forth. Going back and forth now. now, Batista. This is turning into a WWE event, sort of. But Batista with his arms raised in victory. The crowd not too happy with it, Scott. No, not at all. I, I'm not quite sure why 
Dave's upset over something. I didn't see it. Well, if there's a replay, I don't even know where to rewind it to. We'll find Maybe out. Maybe Joe Lozon, when he does his right. post-fight interview, we'll, we'll have a better understanding. We will certainly find out from Joe Lozon afterward what went down to spark the exchange between Vince Lucero and Dave Bautista. In any event, it's a victory for Bautista. Let's send it down to Bill Carpenter for the particulars. gentlemen your official time four minutes five seconds of the first round referee Dan Merliata stops the boat due to excessive unanswered strikes your winner by TKO Dave Brass Buddy Batista well, a much better exchange at the end let's send it down to Joe Lozon for the official post fight interview so, so what do you think of your first MMA fight? How'd it go compared to how you expected? I think my nerves got the best of me a little bit. Uh, he hits like a fucking horse. He, uh, <laughs> he rocked me and I, I was just, I didn't have my legs come, uh, under me coming out. I was just so nervous. But once uh, it took me a little bit to get my composure because I was just rocked. Uh, so, so when do you think you want to fight again? You know, something you want to do right away or wait a little bit or what are you thinking? No, I want to fight again for sure. I think, you know, it was, it was better getting this first one out of the way. I mean, I, you know, the guys will tell you I was just so nervous. I had so many butterflies coming out. But, you know, I think it got the best of me a little bit. I, I think you handled butterflies pretty well. I'm better than I showed tonight. I, I, I think you handled butterflies pretty well. You know, I think you showed, you know, a lot of skill. And, you know, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, I, I want to, first of all, bear with me because I've waited a long time for this interview. Uh, I want to thank my team. Because, you know, regardless of whether this win or not, this win is this really insufficient. It doesn't really matter because, I mean, Vince wasn't even the guy I signed up to fight anyway. But obviously, he's a vet. He knew what he was doing. He wasn't nervous. But my team, my accomplishment was in my camp because I believe I gained the respect of my team. Uh, so I want to thank my team. Uh, Josh Rafferty, my head coach. Mateus Andre, my jiu-jitsu coach. Rob Radford, my boxing and conditioning coach. Eric Alberis and my wrestling coach. And Ricky Montiel, my sports psychologist. <laughs> uh, and my training partners. I had the best training partners in the world for this camp. Uh, starting with Chili Dog Willis, Alex Stonehour, uh, Big Harry Smith, Big Pretty Boy Kyle Rasmussen, and my main man who's gonna beat the hell out of Anderson Silva next week, the American Psycho, Stefan Bonner. I wish you were here. Oh, my dog, Justin McCauley. Thank you, baby. Thank you for all the inspiration. All right, Dave Bautista victorious in his mixed martial arts debut, the long-awaited mixed martial arts debut. And here is the replay as you see Bautista just raining down punches, Scott. Yeah, he has his underhooks in. He's doing the ground and pound, and he's not responding to it. So, of course, they're going to stop the fight. And to Dave's credit, I mean, he did get mount, you know, and he did very well on the takedown. I don't know what this transaction is. I didn't see it. No. Uh, I'm not quite sure what this exchange means. I think maybe he was complaining about getting punched in the back of the head a few times. But, I mean, um, that's that's just what I saw with, with Vince pointing to the back of his head. So, um, a successful debut for, for Dave Baptista in MMA.